Hello, my Pisces babies, and welcome to your bi-weekly reading. I am going to start right now. As always, if you have not already done so, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you ting that bell so you're notified when I go live or when I upload new videos. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you guys for the next couple of weeks. This is what you're leaving behind. This is what you are continuing. This is what or who is coming into your life. This is what's coming in for your relationships. This is what's coming in for your career. This is what is coming in for your overall personal growth. And this is the overall general advice for the next couple of weeks. Now, as usual, if you would like a reading with me, there is a link in the description below that will take you to my Facebook page. And there is a button at the top of that Facebook page that says book now. And when you click on that button, my schedule opens up for you and you can book either a time slot or a spread. Now the time slots are live readings on Skype with me and the um, spreads are recorded and you will be sent a link to watch your video at your leisure. Now let's see what's going on with you guys the next couple of weeks. Okay, you have the Ace of Earth or the Ace of Pentacles and you have the King of Wands. This is awesome, awesome energy. Okay, you have an unlimited potential when it comes to any career opportunity, any financial opportunity, um, when it and you have the King of Wands pushing you towards this, this financial opportunity because it's something that you are passionate about and something that uh, you really would enjoy and it would make life worth living, you know, for you. I mean, this is something that you have been working so hard towards and looking looking for for so long to happen. And in the next couple of weeks, it may pop up for you. Now, what you are leaving behind. Okay, you are leaving behind any hesitation um, when it comes to uh, moving on into your career and you are also getting out of your own way and you are bringing in the abundance. You are leaving behind any kind of lack um, when it comes to abundance, creativity, fertility. All of that stuff is being left behind because you have the green woman coming in here. You have the eight of swords and you have the sun. And this is all great energy for you. It is all saying, yes, go for it. Take it by the hand. Take advantage of it. Move with it. Grow with it. Um, and it will really blossom for you. Now, what are, you are continuing. You are continuing to either be manipulative or being manipulated. Um, one of the two, and you really need to put a stop to that. Now, if this is a person um, in your life, um, this is a person that you need to get rid of. This person is harming you, either physically or emotionally. This is not a good person, and you need to get away from this person as soon as possible. If this is you, and you are being manipulative, or you are being controlling or abusive in any kind of way, you need to stop. Um, get help, do what you have to do, uh, before you get yourself in some serious trouble. Um, this is really negative energy. This person is not a good person, um, or not going down a good path. So really steer clear of this person. Um, especially if it's not you, if it's not you just run. Um, that's all that I can tell you, you know, run away from this person as far as fast as you can get this person out of your life as quickly as possible. And you have the Queen of Wands coming in that is going to really help you to learn what it is you need to learn in order to move forward with this new opportunity that you are so passionate about. Um, and it's going to be in a safe environment and nurturing environment and very helpful um, energy. And you have 
the seven of vessels, they're mourning the loss of something, probably this person up here, but I would not mourn that the loss of that person too much because that person needed to go to begin with. Um, and you have the father of swords energy coming into your life. Um, this father of swords energy is all about bringing you the information that you need. And this person is like the project manager of, uh, a business. You know, he delegates people to put them in the right position that they need to be in their strongest, put their strongest foot forward and to be able to make the entire team work as one in order to get everything done and um, to the best of everybody's ability and to make sure everybody has the chance to shine. And whatever this is, the sun again is shining on it. Really take advantage of this and um, use it to your advantage. This is the yes card of the deck. Um, if this is a new business that you're proposing, a new, um, something that you're starting up yourself, this is a, a major, yes, you know, you have two sun cards that are about this opportunity. So really take it and run with it. And this is the nine of vessels, which is generosity, which is also a great card because it is also, um, the nine of cups, which is in most all decks the nine of cups represents that make a wish card that you've that pivotal i've made it so everything that i have ever wished for is now here i am now getting now what is to come for your relationships you have the hermit you're really not ready for any kind of relationship right now you're just getting done with a very painful relationship probably with this person over here which is what you're mourning um so you're really the pain is coming to an end for you because this person is getting out of your life um and you really need to focus on the people that are in your life that have had your back for a long time um, your family, your close friends, um, things like that. You're just not ready for any kind of relationship right now um, in the aspects of romance anyway. Now what is to come for your career? You have the Son of Wands bringing you information on what you're passionate about and you also have, I'm sorry, the King of Swords energy again coming in here. Um, really to, um, to Take the information that the Son of Wands is bringing, organize it, and to delegate who does what. Um, and there is a bit of struggle, probably a power struggle, um, when it comes to your career. Um, but this also could be, you know, lack of resources at the moment, uh, seeing that you're just starting out. It's something that you're going to have to endure, but, you know, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel already, so you know... You know, the sun has twice given you the go-ahead and to go for it. So, you know, really take advantage of that energy in the next couple of weeks. Now, the overall um, personal growth, you have Justice, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Four of Arrows. Now, you're getting Justice. Um, I'm thinking it's Justice from this person, this devil person. Um, and that you're getting out of your life and you have the the knight of pentacles bringing in um, new direction and um, setting personal foundations for this new um, business venture that you're going on and you also have the four of arrows coming in here that's reminding you to get your rest or you can't do any of this stuff um, you really need to concentrate on yourself at some point and make sure that you're getting the rest that you need. Or you can't go forward with anything and you can't be helpful to anyone. Now, what is the overall advice? You have the emperor. If you need something, ask for it um, and it will be provided to you. And you have the king of pentacles who is also another person that likes to um, come in and help you decide especially career wise what is the best path for you and to be generous with their time and their resources so 
the emperor and the king of pentacles are all about your resources and how to get what you need in order to move forward with this new business proposal this new um uh, this new opportunity that you're opening up for yourself and you have the knight of stones reminding you that you have the ability to make split second decisions and to really turn things around at a moment's notice when need be so really use your intellect and your instincts as well you know the horses are all run on their instincts so really listen to your instincts when it comes to this business or this career path that you're going down as well now, I hope you guys have enjoyed that reading. Before you go, watch more water sign videos and don't forget to, to subscribe, like, share, and comment on this video.